this is how men sell, right? I've got a thing. You're going to give me money for the thing. Just pretend you're giving me money. Oh, you actually will give me money. Okay, I'll give it back. Here's the thing. Thanks. See ya. Go away happy, right? That's how men sell. Thank you. I will take that if you want. You can have, for a calculator, you go for it. Thank you, Troy. That was it. That's all you needed to do. Thank you. Give me a hand. So I know that's really simplistic, but that's how I noticed that men sell, right? They are just like, I've got this thing. That person wants to buy the thing. Do you want to buy the thing? Yes, I want to buy the thing. Here's the money for the thing. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> that's how it works, right? How do women sell? <laughs> I don't know if my thing is good enough. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the right thing. I think I need to do some work on the colour to get the exact right <laughs> colour for it. I think I need to go away, work really hard, lose 10 kilograms, <laughs> then I'll sell the thing. Then I'll be okay selling the thing. Yeah? I don't know if I feel okay making money for something that's so fun to make. That's kind of like, a, maybe I should give it away for free. <laughs> to people who really, really need it. Because that's fair, right? And then you find an audience for it and you're like, do you want to buy my thing? <laughs> you don't have to, it's not very good. <laughs> do, you, do you want to buy my thing? I've got this really good. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> Hang on, maybe I should give you a discount. Because <laughs> you're so nice. Maybe I'll give you this thing. And hang on, what else can I give you? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm really conflicted about selling this thing. I feel really bad. I feel really bad that she's going to spend money on this thing. She's going to hate it. She's going to ask for a refund. <laughs> I'm going to feel terrible about it. Maybe I should just not bother. Wait, no, I really do want to sell this thing because I know what it's going to get me. Ooh. All right, I'm going to sell it. Hang on. I need to suck myself up for it. Mercury's retrograde. I can't sell no. no. Can't sell the thing. Not this month. But I pulled an abundance card and I know exactly when I should sell the thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. <gasps> Hang on. I'm just gonna go talk to my master, my buddies, just for a second. Okay. Okay. All right, the money, thanks. Okay. Wow, that felt really good manifested a parking ticket <laughs> for the exact cost of my thing. <laughs> That's how women sell sometimes. Put up your hand if you have done any of those things that I mentioned. <laughs> it's <sighs> Take a deep breath. Put your hand on your heart. It's my time. I'm ready for the next step. I'm ready for the next step. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you'll get one tomorrow. It's very pretty. Um, it's okay to sell your stuff and it's okay to have conflicting emotions around it because honestly, everything that I just described is something that's happened to me, not at the start of my business, in the last 12 months, easily. And when I first booked this event, <laughs> I did the exact same thing. Like when I first, so I'm talking to Sandra about doing this event back in October, was it? Yep. I went, oh my God, if I go to the gym every single day, <laughs> okay, how many weeks have we got? Maybe if I lose a kilogram a week, um, yeah, I can be really skinny by the time that <laughs> event comes around. <laughs> who, has thought, who has thought that, honestly, about stuff? Yeah. You think, oh, I can't do those photos, I can't do, my, I can't do the website stuff until I've lost weight. 
you know. And I was honestly thinking that. I was like, they're not going to like me if I'm how I am. I really did think that. I was like, okay, I've got this many weeks. And I was like, maybe I should get a personal trainer. Then I'll be really, then I'll be really skinny for them, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Because I am enough, right? And you are enough. Um, and, you know, there's, oh, there's been so many learnings from, from this event alone. I'll put some together. But one of the other things was I was starting to, like, go really crazy overproducing it, especially for tomorrow because there's going to be a much smaller group tomorrow. Who's coming tomorrow, by the way? Cool, lovely. So there's, I think there's about 40 of us, which will be really lovely. But don't worry, you're not missing out on everything because I'm going to just tell them, you're enough. <laughs> Um, but like I was like, oh, I should get one of those cash machines, you know, that you stand in and you grab the money. I was like, oh my god, I should totally do that. And oh my god, everyone should get like um, nail polish, you know, Lucky Beach nail polish. You're not getting it, sorry. <laughs> um, but like I was, do you know why I was doing it though? Because I was thinking I was not enough. I was like, it's not enough for them just to come and see me. That's not enough. I need some razzle dazzle to fool them into thinking that it's worthwhile, right? How many times have you done that? Just put your, put up your hand. Today. today. <laughs> you did it today. Oh. No, exactly, right? Yep, exactly. We've all done it. I, I can't believe that I'm still doing it because I teach it and I tell people all the time, don't undercharge and over deliver. You can, you can totally over-deliver it as an experience, but you don't have to razzle-dazzle and th throw all those things in so people will like you. That's what it comes down to. It's like, I want you to like me. So here's a fucking nail polish. <laughs> like me. <laughs> so sorry, you're not getting nail polish. I canned that because I was like, what? And then I was like, <laughs> we're looking at table decorations, right? And it was like, we're going to make origami butterflies out of money because I wanted you to like me. <laughs> I know, it's sad. <gasps> but I share that because I know that's what happens, right? And that's what happens when you put together your programs and your courses. And um, if you're a life coach, I bet your first life coaching session didn't go for 60 minutes. I bet it went for two and a half hours. <laughs> and I bet, you know, you're just, because, but you are enough. You are enough and you have to understand your value. And that, that does come um, you know, over time and you start to realise that the, the results that you get for people, the value that you give for people, that is enough. And it's also worth charging for. Cool? Yeah. Hey, gorgeous lucky bee. Are you confused about what to charge for your products and services? Maybe you're stuck doing work for free, or worse, you've outgrown some of your clients, but you have no idea how to increase your prices. Honestly, it's a total minefield, and when you have your own business, nobody can set your prices for you. Not to mention all the mindset stuff that comes up when you're trying to charge for what you do. But don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm Denise Duffield-Thomas, money mindset mentor and author of the book, Get Rich, Lucky Bitch. I help women like you learn how to enjoy making money. And I've got a totally free pricing workshop for you. You're gonna learn how to set prices that totally resonate with you, how to gracefully increase your prices, and I'll even give you word-for-word -word scripts on how to make your clients really excited about your new rates. Just enter your details on this page or at luckybitch.com slash pricing and you'll get immediate access to this workshop. This can totally be your best month ever and it's the perfect time to sort out your prices. So sign up now, gorgeous, and I'll see you on the free workshop.